it's Leah, and I missed you guys so much. I'm sorry I haven't done a video in the past three weeks. It's just the since the last video, I've been going to school lately, and then I have to do homework, and then I had camera issues last week, so it was really sad. <laughs> so I couldn't do a video, but it doesn't really matter because today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video, and if you don't already know what a Q&A video is, I just want to ask her. When I answer your questions in a video, I asked you guys on Instagram what questions would you want me to answer in this video, and you guys gave me some, so I'm gonna answer them so you guys can know more about me. Okay, let's see another one. Oh, Brian AG515 asked, What do you do most of your day? Um, what I do most of my day is go to school. <laughs> um, well, besides that, I go wake up in the morning go to school, do homework, eat dinner, and then after that I edit sometimes or film a video, it depends. Or, and that's it. Or usually go out somewhere, but do my homework, but go somewhere and yeah. So that's what I do most of my days and that's like almost every day of the week. Okay, next question is from OMG I'm a Unicorn ass. Would you rather eat a pancake with fingernails and bug guts or eat a waffle with drenched and sweat uh, ew. um so you're saying eat a pancake with fingernails and bug guts or eat a waffle drenched in sweat <laughs> i wouldn't want none but uh, if i had to choose one this is so disgusting either one is like nasty um i think the pancake with fingernails and bug guts only because I could drench it in syrup, but when it comes to like the waffle drenched in sweat already, and then you add syrup, you still could taste the sweat because it's like drenched in there already. So I think the pancake, but I wouldn't mind eating none because you would decide it's like, whose crusty, nasty fingernails are on there and bug guts, which is like maggots. Ew. And I don't want to get no disease. So yeah. But if I had to choose, it would be the pancake with fingernails and bug guts. Never thought I would say that in my life. Next question is from Grace.Fazio. I think so. Ask, Connor Franta or Superwoman? So if you don't know what Con who Connor Franta and Superwoman are, they are other YouTubers on this YouTube site. And they make funny content, comedy, funny sketches. And I... I love both of them and it's just so hard to choose between both of them because I love both of them and they're both so amazing. But if I had to choose one, I would have to choose Superwoman only because she's just so inspirational and she makes me laugh and yeah. But they both do but if I had to choose one, it would be Superwoman. Um, next question is from Tracy Tracy.Laursa. I think that's right. I'm sorry if I didn't correct. Um, ask, follow me yes or no? Yes, I will follow you. Next question. Aaron Michaels asks, would you and Jazz do a jelly bean challenge? Um, yes. And if you guys don't know what a jelly bean challenge is, when you get from the store, there's a, a box of jelly beans and there's pears and one could be good, one could be bad, like one could be licorice and one could be a skunk spray, you know, and they're, but they're identical, so you don't know which one you'll get, so that's the jelly bean challenge. So if you guys want to see that, let me know, and I would love to do it. Our next question is from Brian AG 515 again, asks, would you swim for 10 miles? Or climb a hundred and seven foot rock climbing wall. Ooh, that's scary. Um, I'm really not scared of heights, but when it comes to like that high, a hundred and seven foot wall, that's kind of scary. Or swim for ten miles. I wouldn't want to swim in the ocean though, because I don't want to be eaten by no shark. Um, maybe climb a hundred and seven foot wall. Because rock climbing, I guess I'm harnessed, so I'll be safe instead of falling. Only because after swimming for 10 miles, I would be like, after the first mile, I'll be giving up. 
I don't think we even make it the first mile. Um, but for doing it for 10 miles, I'll be tired. So maybe climbing a 107 foot wall because I know I'm safe. And then I could take breaks if I get tired because I know I'll be taking breaks up there. But yeah, so yeah, climbing the 107 foot rock climbing wall. Um, next question is from A It Star. She asked three different questions. She asked, first one is, what's your height? Um, my height is five, no, yeah, five, three. My height is five, three, almost five, four. I think I'm five, four already. So I think I'll put it right here. I think five, three or five, four. Either one, I'll put it right here. Um, the next question she asked is your age. Um, if you don't know my age already, I am 13 years old. I'm going to be turning 14 on January 21st. And I was born January 21st, 2002. So, yeah, I'm 13. Um, favorite thing to do with your friends? Um, ooh. Okay, let's see. Favorite thing to do with my friends? It got to be either going to the mall or going uh, to the beach. Either one. But it has, like, either one, I think. Going to the mall or going to the beach because I like going to the mall, I like shopping and stuff. And then I like going to the beach because I like swimming and then, yeah, going in the water. So either one, going to the mall or going to the beach, either one. And then next question from Nicole Walker from Jacksonville, Florida asks, "What three things would you bring with you if you're stranded on an island?" Hmm. Okay, that's hard. Well, first of all, I wouldn't plan to be <laughs> stranded on an island because. Who would it be like, let's get stranded on the island? Um, I wouldn't. Um, but if I did get stranded there, the things I would want to be with me, if I was stranded, would be, number one, the lighter. Because I need to cook my food because I don't want to be eating no raw meat and getting worms and stuff. So, yeah. A lighter would be number one. Number two would be a knife because then I need to hunt my food because I don't think I'll be able to str like strangle an animal because then it might eat me so I might be dead on the island with the animal um so I'll bring a lighter a knife and then last thing uh, water because you cannot drink no ocean water like literally girl you'll be like or boy you'll be like going delusional if you be drinking that salt water because if you, if you didn't know, salt water gets you delusional after you drink a lot. So I don't want to be thinking the store is right there, which is a bear trying to eat me. So yeah, I would probably bring a water, a lighter, and a knife. Or any kind of hunting uh, source thing. Um, and then she also asked, would you rather be public schooled or homeschooled? Um, I think public schooled. Only because homeschooled is like more your more independent so you're by yourself which is me to me my preference is more harder to do by myself because I kind of need a little bit of help if I have any questions and then public school I think I'll be able to get help from them but it'll also kind of be hard because I have more classes but I think public school right now I'm in a charter school if you don't know what charter school is when I go to school Monday through Thursday and I do homework online but I go to classes and they help me with my homework and stuff. And I go there most of the day, so, which is good. And it helps me better, my preference. So I don't have so many classes or I don't have to do stuff by myself. So, but if I had to choose a be between public or homeschooled, I think I would pick public school. So yeah. Darren Walker, also from Jacksonville, Florida, asked, would I rather be a cockroach or a stink bug? Okay. So I wouldn't want to be neither of them. Because they're both disgusting. I'm sorry. I don't like bugs. I like ladybugs because they're cute. But no bugs, bugs. But if I had to choose one, I think maybe a cockroach. Only because, well, short story. I went to the beach. Saw a stink bug when I was climbing a rock. Hissed at me. Mm -mm. It literally hissed at me. And I was like, ew. I was first, I didn't know what kind of bug it was. But then my brother told me, oh, it's a stink bug. And I was like, ooh. I was like, why is it called a stink bug? He goes, oh, because you step on it, it will stink. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> let me get out of here, okay? I don't want to be next to this. No, but there was a lot, so I was like, mm. And I don't want to be a cockroach either because 
if there's one cockroach, you know, there's more, and they're just disgusting in general. But if I had to choose between a stink bug or a cockroach, it would be maybe a cockroach. Because only stink bugs stink. I want to stink. And then the last question I'm going to ask it answer is, I always get this question all the time, is when, why, people ask me, why do you want, why did you want to be a YouTuber, and why did you start the channel? Um, the reason why I started the channel was because I was just so inspired by other people. I seen how they made people laugh, how they inspired me, how they made me laugh, how they made me smile, and how they made me think to myself, and how they made me see other points of view. It made me want to start a channel. It made me want to inspire people, entertain people, make people laugh, and make people smile. So that's what I want to do. I want to make people smile, laugh, entertain people. So yeah, that's what made me want to start a YouTube channel. And it's more like a passion to me. I love editing my videos. I love commenting on your comments down below. I love filming these videos. I love doing it. And it's like a passion that I have. And if it's up to me, I want to do YouTube for like my whole life. But I hope you don't get tired of me when I get old, old. But yeah, I want to do YouTube for the rest of my life. I think that's what a passion that I have deep down inside. And yeah, it's a place where I can express my own self, my own personality, my own self, my own life. And yeah, that's why it's called Life as Leah or Leah Chi, where I show you my whole life and things that I just love doing. So that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, just give this a like, a thumbs up. And comment down below any other videos you would want to see from me. It could be challenges, funny, random things, a vlog. Maybe I'll be going to Florida soon next month, maybe. And I might vlog it. No more secrets. Um, and yeah, DIYs. If you want to see any DIYs or makeup related things leave them down below also i'm gonna be doing a fall related video so if you want to see that be tuned and subscribe to see all those upcoming videos and join the family and it's amazing over here and also we just hit 36 subscribers which is like awesome you guys are like amazing so um i hope you like this video and i'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.